Apocalypse Inc. Productions presents 5-Minute Stories, written and read by Jennifer Brozek. 5-Minute Stories, a little bit of story to last you all day. This story is called Waiting. Jane arrived at Beva's with her husband's anniversary gift in hand. They knew her here. This was their favorite restaurant. She and Tony had been coming here for years. Megan, their favorite waitress, took her to their favorite table. A glass of the house Riesling while you wait for your husband? Yes, please. It had been a wonderful day. Jane was so happy she'd found exactly the right thing for Tony this year. It was their 52nd wedding anniversary. She placed the small package in red paper and white hearts on the table and slid it across to where Tony would sit when he arrived. What's this? Megan asked when she returned with the wine. It's our anniversary. I found Tony the perfect gift. Jane smiled up at her. Oh, can you tell me what it is? I won't tell anyone, I promise. Just because it's you. I found him a model car. It's a 1948 Fastback Cadillac. It looks just like his first car. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm sure he'll love it. Jane nodded and smiled after the girl as she turned away to attend to other customers. She glanced at her watch and saw that it was five minutes past seven. She wasn't worried. Tony was always late. Something always caught his attention, and when he realized the time, he would come running in, out of breath, and grinning that guilty little boy grin. She might scold him, she might not. She usually didn't, unless he was really late. As time passed and her first glass of wine emptied, she became more and more irritated. He wasn't usually this late, especially on their anniversary. Megan refilled her wine glass with a few murmured words designed to soothe, but they didn't. Tony should be here by now. He was going to get such a scolding for being late and scaring her. More time passed, and she pulled out her cell phone. With shaky hands, she dialed his number and was ready to demand to know where he was until she heard the outgoing message. It startled her enough that she dropped her phone. Megan hurried over to get it for her. Is everything all right? Jane smiled a brave smile at her. Oh, yes, but I think I need to be going. Megan looked concerned. Don't worry about the wine. It's on the house. Thank you, dear. Jane picked up her anniversary gift and shuffled out of the restaurant to her car at the end of the lot. By the time she reached it, the tears flowed freely down her face. She got into the car, but didn't turn it on. She hid her face in her hands and cried with great shaking sobs. Janie, dear, don't cry. Tony leaned over from the passenger seat and put an arm around her. It's all right. Don't cry. I'm so sorry. I was so mad at you for being late, for keeping me waiting. It's all right now, sweetheart. I promise. He gestured to her lap. Is that for me? She wiped at her face and nodded. It is. He took the gift and opened it. Oh, Janie, it's perfect. It's just like the car I had when we met. I know, it's why I got it for you. I was so happy when I saw it. I knew you would love it. I... She looked at him, tears welling up. I just forgot that you were gone. I'm not gone anymore. Everything's going to be all right now. I promise. Neither of us is waiting for the other any more. He leaned forward and kissed her. You promise? She searched his face. I do, forever and ever. He tugged at her hand. Come on, I have my car over here. Before she got out of the car, she knew she would be getting into the passenger seat of a dark blue 1948 fastback Cadillac and was glad of it. I love you, Tony. I love you, Jane. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. He smiled a loving smile and opened the Cadillac door. When they found her the next morning, Mrs. Jane Shaw was resting peacefully in the driver's seat of her car with a smile on her face. On the seat next to her was an unwrapped package that had once contained a model car. The wrapping paper and bow were in the footwell of the passenger seat, but the toy car was missing. No one knew what happened to it. It was never found.
Apocalypse Inc. Productions hopes you have enjoyed this story by Jennifer Brozek. If you would like to read it, or others like it, it is available in 5-Minute Stories, Volume 5, by Jennifer Brozek on Amazon.com.